Hi, fourth grade. This is Miss Wilson again with a new video. Today we will be learning what is prime and composite numbers. So let's get started. The first question is what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that only has two factors, one in itself. And we've learned that factors are the two numbers that are multiplied to get a product. So Look at the word prime. It says, I, me. Prime numbers only have the factors of one, so that I looks like the number one, and me, which is the number to begin with. So five, the only factors of five is one times five. Can you think of any other way to use multiplication to get five? No, that makes five a prime number. The only way to get five is one times five, which means it only has two factors. So what is composite numbers? Composite numbers are numbers that has more than two factors. There's multiple ways to multiply and get that number. So let's look at the factors of 10. We know one times 10 equals 10. That's two factors. There's another way to use multiplication to get 10. Yes, two times five gives me 10. So that's four factors of 10. So 10 is composite, which means there are more than two factors. So. What about the number two? Huh? Two is the first multiple of two because we know multiples is the skip counting or the multiplying one number by another number. And it's an even number two. So is it composite? No. Two is the only even number that is prime. The only factors of two is one and two. So that makes two prime. Now, how can we figure out if a number is prime or composite? So I'm gonna take out a 100 chart and we're gonna start um, marking off prime and composite numbers. All right, so we have a 100 chart. And now we're gonna knock off all our composite numbers. So we're gonna start with any multiple of two. So we know to find multiples, we just skip count. So four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. So every number that is a multiple of two, except for the number two, are composite. Now let's mark off all the multiples of three. Now, three itself is a prime number because the only way to get three will be three times one. It only has two factors. So let's do our multiples of three. So we already said three is prime. So we won't mark that out. Six, nine, 12 is already marked out. 15, 
18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 90, 93, 96, 99. So we've knocked off all the multiples of two and three. Now we're going to do the multiples of five. Because if it's a multiple of five, it can't be composite. It can't be prime. So five is prime. The only way to get five is one times five. So 10 is already marked off. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now you asking yourself, Ms. Wilson, why we didn't mark off the multiples of four? Because any multiple that is a multiple of two is most of them are a multiple of four because four is even. If we did multiples of four, it would have been eight, 12, 16. See how they already marked off? 20. So in order to find prime numbers, you can mark off any number that is a multiple of two, a multiple of three, or a multiple of five. And that's gonna leave you all prime numbers. Now, one is the only exception. One is the only exception. One is neutral. That's our word for this video, neutral. Neutral means does not pick a side. It's right in the middle. One is neither prime or composite. It's neither one. One is just neutral. Hey, I don't want to pick a side. I don't want to be prime. I don't want to be composite. One is neutral. So what are our prime numbers? Because in fourth grade, we have to know our prime numbers up to 100. So two is prime. Three is prime. Five is prime. The only way to get five is one times five. Seven is prime. The only way to get seven is seven times one. Eleven is prime. The only way to get 11 is 11 times one. Thirteen is prime. The only way to get 13 is one times 13. Seventeen is prime. The only way to get 17 is one times 17. Nineteen is prime. The only way to get 19 is one times 19. 23 is prime. The only way to get 23, guess what? Is one times 23. It only has two factors. The same with 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, up 59. I'm not for sure why 49 is still on here because seven times seven is 49. So that cannot be a prime number. 59, 61, 67, 71, 73. And again, 11 times 7 is 77. So 77 shouldn't be on here either. So, but 89 is prime. Also, 79 is prime. 83 is prime, 91 is prime, and 97 is prime. 
So these are prime numbers. So when you're trying to figure out it's a number, prime or composite, first see if it's a multiple of your twos, except for the number two. Then see if it's a multiple of three. Is it a multiple of five? Is it a multiple of seven? So if you say yes, that it's a multiple of three, or it's a multiple of five, or it's a multiple of seven, that means that that number is composite. But if the only way you can get that number is to multiply that number times one, it's prime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, our word was neutral because one is neutral. It is neither prime or composite. And until next time, I hope you enjoy math.